Hello guys, in this video, we will try Azure function for event hub trigger. That means this function will be triggered when message or event is available in Azure event hub. We are in Visual Studio and we are creating a new project. Let's select Azure functions. Next, let's give some name event hub trigger. Next. Let's select event hub from this drop down. So I will say event hub trigger here under connection string. Let's keep it blank and here under event hub name. Let's give the name of our event hub. So let's go to the portal. Let's open this event hubs namespace and we are under overview and if you go down, we can see this event hub that is first event hub. And let's copy let's copy this name and create and this function for event of trigger is ready now let's first add connection string for our event up so for that again let's go to the portal and again we are in this event up that is first event up under settings under shared access policies let's open my policy and let's copy this primary connection string and let's open this local dot settings dot json and here let's say connection strings here i will say event hub connection string i will make this e capital and let's provide the value which we copied from azure portal and let's save let's copy this key name that is event up connection string let's copy it and let's go to function one dot cs again and here under this connection property let's provide it let's provide that key name and let's save and now guys we are not going to make any change in this function that is let's keep this code as it is but we'll simply add a debugger on line number 19 so that uh, whenever message or event is available in event up this function it will be triggered and then we can check the contents of this event data and guys of course when you are working in real time uh, you will add your logic for example you may save data from these events in cosmos database okay but as of now let's keep this code as it is and let's run this function and you can see our function is running and now it's listening for events to arrive in event hub now let's go to the portal and let's send sample events to this event hub so we are in portal let's open this namespace that is std namespace let's click on generate data preview and here uh, i will provide some uh, simple json so i'll say name say partial chain and let's click on send And you see immediately the debugger has been hit and if I check the contents of this variable events and if I expand this and if I expand this see you can see this event body that is name Harshal J okay so thank you guys.